So, are there? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hear about the event. Uh, EV buddy. Okay. Yeah. I say he's always got his ear to the ground, so he's like, hey, you know, Santa Cruz has got, uh, was it, uh, some demos going on. And he said Santa Clarita. I did not realize he meant Agua Dulce. Twelve seconds later. Just over the way is Vasquez. Okay. That's well, what it, yeah, and what it's really famous for is Ford versus Ferrari. That too. That oh. too. They oh. Oh. Right here. Oh, they, right here. oh yeah, really? This, yeah, this was the straightaway. Oh, the this looks familiar. Speaking of straightaway, ooh, I like it. Does this have the 20s or the 22s? This has the 20s. The oh, 20s. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah. Have you had an opportunity to drive the ones with the 22s? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, let's we only have the ones with the 20s here. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. That just looks cool. I feel it's like top right now. I know, right? <laughs> How many horsepower does this have? Um, it's going to be 800 horsepower. <laughs> oh, God. Like you do. What I'd have to do to build a Chevy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's awesome. I love how each, each, uh, was it each tire is essentially a car? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah like exactly. Yeah, seriously. I'm just simulating like getting a feel for the vehicle, feeling that weight distribution. Uh -huh. um, and um, I mean just it just smooth and glides over. We're on a soft ride too, so you're gonna hardly feel anything. It is interesting, like it's smooth, but you can feel how heavy it is. Oh yeah. You know? yeah. But it still feels agile in the yeah. sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Feels like a tank. A little, I like a little it. Make a small micro adjustment going off road now. Clear. And we're going into rock crawl. When the car raises, mm -hmm. does it do like the front first, then the rear? Or I believe it does. I believe it does the rear first, and okay. then and then and then it'll, it'll like kind of like almost like a like a wave. Motion. Okay. Got it. Okay. Settle somewhere. So right now it's it, it it's it was blinking, and then now it's on it's on it's it's not it's solid, so it now is clear for. Going on. Uh, it does max the speed up to 20 miles an hour, but again, during rock crawl, you're really. Yeah. I mean, crawl. you don't yeah, crawl. crawl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are like, you can only, go only up to 20. I was like, well, you're also like going over rocks, so yeah, you probably don't want to go that fast. Yeah. yeah. You can't do 80. Right. <laughs> what do you mean I can't do 80 on the rocks? Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, is inspect for the Dakar challenge yeah. right. out of the box. I was like, you know what? How about you do a bourbon on the rocks and then come back to me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> does does the uh, for the air ride? Does it have a? Uh, I know it's got a pump. Mm -hmm. Does it have a reservoir accumulator? Yep, it's going to be right in the back. Oh, oh man. Oh, this yeah. is good. I yeah. wouldn't have a front bumper right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, this is smooth. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, for what it is, it's just like, yeah, just go. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's definitely awesome. I'm taking a look for the paint job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, our our boys put in a lot of work though. <laughs> at oh, the end of the day, um, yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that. Like we try to avoid the brush, but yes. you know, it's just it's unavoidable. Yep, yeah, it's called a brush for a reason, right? <laughs> Those are under marks, <laughs> battle scars. There you go. <laughs> Nice course you guys got picked up. Oh, right. that's great. We were really, twister. really privileged. They, I mean, they, they shot, they shoot movies here all the time. They, I think I mentioned yeah. Ford vs. Fiat Ferrari, um, Aliens vs. Cowboys. Uh -huh. Yeah, gosh, we worked on 
I say, we worked on Alien vs. Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. As I say, they're trying so hard to make a modern, you know, Wild West film. It's like, you guys, Wild Wild West already happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll leave Will Smith in charge. Yeah. Good test here. I like this. This is amazing. We drove a little farther than that hill you guys came from, but it's totally worth it. Yeah. <laughs> this car does not struggle at all. Seriously. Good demonstration. Yeah, Very I'm good demonstration. It. It. You know those Chevy commercials where they bring people and... Uh, yeah, I used to do them. To do those commercials, go ahead. This, this would be a perfect <laughs> commercial like that where you actually mm -hmm. like get people and then they're like, Hey, what do you think? Yeah, and then, they, then they start coming out from behind the big doors, and <laughs> out of the containers. That, that's all our stuff. <laughs> I say, spoiler alert, was it all the the uh, the I'm trying to remember, like, these aren't, they aren't actors, but uh, <laughs> they're, when yes. they do that, they're, they're not, are they not part of the Screen Actors Guild? I forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not actors at that moment. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that turn right, the turn radius is pretty. I can't believe wasn't the, that's the turn radius on the long version, because the SUV is 10 inches shorter, mm -hmm. and it's got mm -hmm. even tighter turning. I mean, oh. I, I've got a, a 2015 F-250 Lariat uh -huh. four-wheel drive, and I would think about going up here on that. Oh, wow. wow. I would give it some consideration. I wouldn't just blow it up. <laughs> hey there. Good tell so much. Oh, heck yeah. Nice view all on its own. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because this airport, airport is private now. Even us. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This does. So, are there? Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 this is funny. <laughs> now, do you have to apply light braking? No, or this is all brake region. Okay. Is uh, is does it have the inclinometer? Like a like a Land Rover where it shows you what your what your angle is or what your attack angle is. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I mean, I don't I don't think it actually. I mean, I, I don't know that answer. Um, but I mean, it'll hold at an angle if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I say like on the screen, like it's like you know how how steep are we going right now? It'll mm -hmm. say like oh you're doing about 20 degrees of incline or decline. Got it. You know, that I, I I don't see it telling me anything. Uh, I do. I do like the camera showing was how close yeah. to the edge of the road. Yeah. yeah, that's super. You can also see the back as well, right? Yep. I don't think my Corolla could do this. <laughs> Dude, this is. Capable. Honestly, the fact that so I saw a whole bunch of YouTube videos where the the big YouTubers went to uh, I forget where it was, but you guys took this to some crazy off-roading place, and mm -hmm. that was pretty amazing. But seeing it actually in person, um, and I know that track was even crazier than this, but this is already super crazy. This, so when you go and you're like 10 years ago when you typically go to a dealer or whatever and you want to buy a car um, even probably your F250 that you probably just drove it on the street that's and you're like right, huh? oh yeah that's fine yeah. I, I think this is like hey much you more. should come drive this car here because it, it there's much more meaning to it oh, right much more mm -hmm. take my wallet <laughs> <laughs> let me set up my direct deposit <laughs> Here's my blank check. <laughs> <laughs> now, th this is what a test drive should be. This this is ridiculous because not only are you saying, "Oh, this car can do that," yeah, uh, but but it. you're yeah. this is crazy. Yeah, I'm so glad we came. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, you know, this made the day. Yeah. I don't remember the last time 10 minutes went by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you asked me, I'm like, I never timed it, but I was like, mm, for me, it's like <laughs> five, seven minutes. Oh, we're just past the nine mark. Got it. So how do you get a job doing this? Cause this <laughs> <laughs> Did you just show up to the interview you're like, yeah, I know how to drive. Um, yeah, we'll talk about the salary later. Yeah, yeah, just hook me up with this job. <laughs> with this job. <laughs> I'm blessed. I am lucky. I mean, this is... This, this is awesome. This is, this is what I'm going to be doing for my actual job. This is just, I'm here for the event, but uh -huh. I'm a senior field specialist, so oh, I, nice. I, I deliver, um, I'll be delivering these vehicles oh. to customers. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so and do this in three, two, one. Very good, yeah, considering yeah. it's a pickup truck. <laughs> the high end tour put, put, put me right on the ground. That's what they told us. <laughs> and then this part, we're gonna uh, get into our adaptive cruise control. Just to kind of, like regular cruise control, it's gonna maintain speed. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, by doing that, we're gonna activate it over uh, 20 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go 30. And I'm just gonna tap on my drive stock just once. Yeah. And that's gonna allow me to release the accelerator. Mm -hmm. And right now I can uh, actually uh, change my, my driving distance uh, from the vehicle in front. Okay. From five, four, three, and two. So it just depends on what traffic looks like for you. Mm -hmm. And then, so I'm, I'm always engaged, you know, with hands on the wheel, of course. Um, but then we're gonna approach a balloon uh, vehicle up, up ahead. And we're gonna see how it uh, reacts to that. And I'm simply just gonna hover, uh, um, um, hover around the brake, uh, just for emergency purposes. But it should do its thing and recognize that that vehicle is right in front. So, were you actively steering back there, or did you just have your hand? Oh, on I actively there? was steering with adaptive cruise control. Yes. Okay. With uh, drive assist, driver assist, it will um, do it for you. So that's that wasn't me at all. That was all the adaptive cruise control. So it's identifying mm -hmm. the vehicle in front, coming to a complete stop, even even holding. And how far ahead um, was it set for? Uh, that was up to. Uh, well, that was, the falling distance is, is different. I see. Yeah, uh, and then to disengage it, just press the brake, and then you can maneuver around the vehicle. And that concludes our trip, guys. Yeah, Thank, awesome. you. Awesome. Thank you. Very yeah, much. Thank you. Thank you. We're just gonna go in. We're crawling over here just because there's usually people and pedestrians walking around here, so mm -hmm. kind of taking it easy. But we're gonna probably go to the last stall. So when you go off-roading a lot, what's the the range must be a lot less, right? I Correct. imagine. So depending on each uh, mode, uh, will determine what your range is going to look like. So we did uh, a test of um, between sport and conserve mode, mm -hmm. um, and that's where we came up with a 316 um, mile range on average. Mm -hmm. But that was between sport and conserve. Mm -hmm. So if you have it in conserve more often, you may get bigger range, and also depending on w w what your brake regen is doing. Yeah. So, okay. all in all, it just depends. Okay. Awesome, you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Maybe please just leave your doors open. They're gonna come yeah. in and re-sanitize everything. Cool. Thank you.